Here we have a 2005 2500 HD Chevy Silverado in need of new brake lines. We've got the vehicle jacked up and tires removed on the driver's side so we have easier access to get to all those lines. First thing we got to do is get the old lines off, all the fittings off, and soaked everything in uh, penetrating oil for about a week. Actually only sprayed it twice, but sprayed all the connections and they broke loose fairly easy other than the ones that rusted right out. And we'll start here at the ABS module and I'll show you what what I did. As you can see, there it is. All those empty ports were where the brake lines used to be. You see I've got them folded up or pushed out of the way now. But you start by removing left to right. Basically, because you have to. Um, in order to get to these far, far right ones over here, you gotta start with these ones. So, remove all those. This first one was actually the, the hardest to get out, but it came. Um, if all else failed, I was just going to cut these lines with a, I don't know, cut them with whatever so that I could get a socket over them and break them loose, but I was able to do it with the open-ended open wrenches and the brake line or the line wrench actually didn't come in handy, which um, I was kind of hoping it would, but anyhow, so those are off. And then the plan is to just leave those in place or up along the rails and wherever they go. And then as we replace with the new ones, we'll do that in reverse order. We'll start with this one, which happens to go to the rear, and uh, we'll work our way back over. So, I've got those all torn off. We'll call this chapter one, how about of the brake line job. And here you can see, going to the back axle, that's where that line we were just at comes in. Actually, it's up under the bed there, but then it sp splits off. And you can see, they just, the rust just broke right through on there here when I remove those. Same with this one at the caliper. Here, Here's where the fitting comes in to this flexible pipe. But that, that brake line is just shot, rusted through. And there's the fittings. Some of them anyways. Some of them that busted off. And then take a look at the front. This one would probably be a lot easier to access, and I might end up taking this, I don't know, what do you, what do you call that, fender liner, or uh, cover off the inside of the wheel well. You can see where we're at. But that one just broke loose. It's right under, and then that feeds to the caliper. That one was, came off fairly easy as well. And then there's the two, the front and the rear of the master cylinder here. Those come off surprisingly easy and obviously no corrosion or very little corrosion compared to the underside where it's getting all the salt and road crap on it but so everything's disconnected and now we can start fishing the lines from the back to the front and see what happens